So, uh, just Senator, good morning to you. So, apparently, um, there's been a, a dirty deal done with the devil, according to the, <laughs> according to the quotes this morning. So, you're the devil. What's happened with you and Pauline? <laughs> Mate, I always thought I was on the side of the angels, to be honest. I thought I was a little bit more angelic than that. However, I have been told out in the streets before that I'm going to hell. So who knows? Who knows? But there has been no deal done. The Jackie Mamba Network has done no deals unless they've done them in the past five hours since I went to bed just after midnight last night, which I doubt it. So yeah. uh, there's no deals going on. It is a two-horse race down here. I don't know why she's getting all... Um, hot under the collar, because quite frankly, the two horse race is between Tammy Tyrrell and Erica Betts, and that's what we we are focused on getting Tammy up. That is our main aim. Um, and the last thing I'm concerned about right now is worrying about preferences, which most Tasmanians do not follow. I had a vote cards anyway, to be honest with you. So what's happened with Pauline here? She's just getting way ahead of herself, is she? Well, you know, um, I'll let Pauline run her own race, and I'll let the people decide on voting day who they want to vote for. But like I said, I'm concentrated on, concentrated on Tasmania. We don't like mainlanders coming down here and telling us where we're going to vote or what we're going to do. So once again, I will worry about what's going on in Tasmania. I will worry about getting Tammy Tyrrell across the line. That is our job. We want that extra senator in there to represent Tasmania, and that's what we focused on, mate. Are you surprised at the comments? Um, no, I'm not surprised. Um, you know, um, people can get really nasty, uh, especially going into um, the election. I expect this. I try and say to my people, like I do myself, is that try and keep a smile on your face because if you end up toxic towards the end of it, you haven't won any battle, let alone any seats. So mm. I just say, you know, as difficult as it gets, keep a smile on your face. Be polite to the people out there. I know it's tough going, but just stay... Uh, you know, make sure we stay focused. Our main job is to get our senator up, and that's Tammy Tyrrell, and that's what we're doing. Just looking at these inflation figures from yesterday, Senator, how much are Tasmanians, Tasmanians feeling this? Is this is this the number one issue in your view? Oh, look, um, it is a massive issue down here. People, you know, I, I was I was saying um, this earlier this morning. Once upon a time, for me, my two sons, even when they were um, in their late teens. I could go and do some shopping and get 10 bags of shopping um, shopping bags mate, done. Now it's costing me. I'm by myself. I go down the supermarket just to get your normal bread, milk, um, some stuff for dinner, plus a bit of extra to fit in a shopping bag is on average about 70 bucks, mm. and that's on a good day. It is shocking down here between the fuel, uh, the cost of groceries. We've got electricity bills that will be coming in within about the next six weeks. Um, yeah. It's getting really, really difficult down here. And, and I can tell you, Pete, that's without worrying about our kids, like I've been saying all the way along. You know, I salute them for putting themselves um, on the line, investing in a house early on, getting those um, getting those grants from both state and federal down here at forty five to 50000 for your first deposit. Those interest rates start going up, mate. I'm sorry, we don't have adults like you. We don't have mums and dads like in Sydney and Melbourne where we can afford to bail out our kids down here. That's mm. the truth of it. So those interest rates really, really worrying for me. For those young kids that have tried to do the right thing, look after their futures, they go up 2 or 3%, then paying back an extra 2 or $300 a fortnight. Jeez, mate. It's really, yeah. really worrying. So yeah, how do we fix this? Well, a lot of home buyers in Sydney and Melbourne don't don't have that kind of security blanket either. Everyone's struggling yeah. across the board. Now, the government is blaming international factors, which is true. War in Europe. Uh, We've got supply chain issues out of China. The Labor Party is putting it on the government, though. I mean, so everyone's got a different argument here. Who, who Who's to blame in your view? Um, well, look, I'm not going to put any blame game. What we need to do is come up with solutions, you know, and what that means is we've got to cut back government spending and we certainly can't do it in some areas, what people are telling me out there, and I won't say what they are, but we could certainly look at those stage three tax cuts once again. There's $16 billion there a year. Obviously, after COVID, if they both those major parties have, haven't worked out that we cannot afford those stage three tax cuts anymore, then wake up to yourselves and be brave, show some courage, because first of all, they need to go off the table. We need to, you know, we need to try and keep. We understand interest rates need to go up, um, to take that infl inf um, inflation rates down. However, we also know that's really going to have an effect on these guys that have gone out and done the right thing over the last few years and tried to invest in the house. Yeah. Okay. Interesting point. All right, uh, Senator Jackie Lambie, thanks for your time this morning. We'll talk to you soon.